National Educator. Hello, pupil. This is uh, class five science. We are going to look at the human body with the subtopic, the human breathing system. Welcome. In class four, we learned about the human body. We looked at the teeth and we looked at other parts of the human body. And again, we also looked at animals and we said some characteristics of animals. Can you remember some? We said animals die. Can you remember another one? Any other characteristic of animal you can remember? Just to remind ourselves, these are some of the things we said about animals. We said animals die, animals reproduce, animals feed, animals move. We also said animals grow. And then we again said animals breathe. That's where we are coming to now. We want to see how human breathing system behaves. How do animals breathe? How do they breathe? Yes, animals breathe through the nose. One, thank you. They also breathe through the mouth. That's good. So when we breathe in, we either use our mouth or our nose. So I'd want us to breathe in and out now. Just put your right hand on your chest. Then breathe in. Hold. Breathe in. Out. Again. Out. What do you realize? What can you tell me is happening in your chest? What are you feeling? Can you see something happening? Try again. Let's breathe again. In. Out. Again. What can... Tell it to the person next to you. What is happening? Discuss it with them. Can you hold that breath for long? No, it's not possible. Let's try as I count the minutes. One, two, three. Oh, you're already out. So we realize that it is not possible to hold our breath for long. So we all need air and therefore we have to breathe. Breathing in and out can only take a very short time, especially breathing in. You cannot go without air for, so, for long. So we have to keep, it's a process that keeps on and on and on, at times without even your knowledge, like where you are seated. Do you realize you are breathing? So when we are breathing in, we are breathing in air. And the air we are breathing in, just as we have said, passes through your nose. As it passes through the nose, it's taken into your lungs and then the lung will also release it out as you breathe out. So we want to see how the lung gets in air and gets out air. 